Hi everyone, it's me again. I have to be a little bit quieter because I'm inside the hotel. But I wanted to show you where the uh, hallway is that's by the, uh, the room where Lottie stayed in 1892 when she was here. And so let me flip this around for you. And you'll notice the wallpaper. Very modern. And the carpet as well. So everything's been modernized. And I'm going to try and walk down the hallway here past her room. And as it turns out, housekeeping is cleaning the room. And so asked me if I wanted to go in, and I did for just a second, but uh, all the sheets and everything were all torn off the bed, so not very attractive looking. But I did ask her whether she felt the activity was more shut down, and she did. She felt it was about the same. So it was very nice of her to let me in. Stay here for a second. Yeah, three, three, two, seven. So this is the room that she stayed in. It's been remodeled since her time frame. Because the bathroom used to be down the hall. And if you wanted a bath, then you had to pay for one. And they would bring in a bathtub and water and the whole thing. It's an awful lot of maintenance. So for whatever reason, I keep hearing alarms all the time. I'm hearing one now. I'm hearing them by my house too. Not sure what's going on with that. But anyway, this is the uh, the hallway and uh, these stairs were stairs that she would have taken to go down to dinner. And so that creaking was my foot. I'm gonna walk you back. You see the cleaning cart is here, and the uh, service is in there cleaning. So, don't want to be too intrusive. But as you can see, the uh, wallpaper is very beachy. <laughs> this is a beach resort, so I guess that makes sense. Um, but the Victorian feel is uh, not present, which is sad for people like me who really like that time frame. Anyway, I thought this was a little bit more productive way to, to go. Um, when I first spoke with her, I was actually in this area. And uh, it's when she first made her presence known I wanted to be very clear that her name was Lottie and not Kate Morgan. And uh, she said she had a fight with her boyfriend right in this area. And then she proceeded down the hallway uh, to the room and he left. And uh, as you can see the room is right down there at the end of the hall. It's the last door on the left there before the stairs. So it's very interesting trying to piece together what happened. There can be a lot of information, but uh, it needs to be proven out as best we can historically. Uh, and that's why I'm hunting down that bell system, which I think the video cut out when I was talking about that. The, um, the electricity was put in under Westinghouse patents by Perkins Mather. So there's been a long-standing urban legend that Edison put in the lights. He did not. Uh, as a matter of fact, at the very same time this hotel, he was suing everyone who had anything to do with electricity, including Westinghouse and Tesla. Uh, but one of the things that uh, is interesting is that Tesla sold some patents to Westinghouse. And because this hotel was so advanced for its time, uh, it would be interesting to find out whether those were originally Tesla patents or not, 
we do know that they were licensed or you know to Westinghouse. So we do know that historically. But the question is, was there any wireless, as in from the laundry to the, uh, to the hotel? Because as you see in my prior video, it's quite a walking distance from one to the other. So there would have to be some sort of system of notification that someone needed something in the hotel that related to the laundry, cleaning sheets, towels, you know, that there was, there was furniture here. And uh, my research partner, John, and I were sitting here. So that would have been the, uh, the first contact that I had with her inside. I did have a contact with her outside on the beach. And she was also known for walking the beach, which is one of my favorite things to do as well. So here's another shot down the hallway. It looks very pink, <laughs> for sure. OK, thanks so much, everybody. And I'll, uh, if I can do more, I will. But it's a little difficult, because you don't want to be making a nuisance out of yourself. Anyway, thanks very much. Bye.